Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury, and today guys, I want to show you a wonderful Instagram channel. That's right, an Instagram channel who's also a great fan of Archie Luxury. Father.time.luxury.watches. Father.time.luxury.watches. This guy here combines photography <clears throat> with beautiful watches. Have a look here. Look at this. Very, very nice display of watches and uh, just in a great look at this his food with watches his coffee with watches just great great photos great watches and a great lifestyle look at this beautiful cigar and you can click on any of these pictures here inside Instagram and see the lifestyle look at this ah what a wonderful way to enjoy a cigar so there you go, guys. Check out father.time.luxury.watches. Father Time Luxury Watches. Check it out, guys. You will love it. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today, guys, I want to do a comparison of watch rolls. Watch rolls. And I recently got a wolf watch roll and I wanted to compare it to two other watch rolls the um, the other watch roll I wanted to compare it to is the Louis the Louis Louis Vuitton Vuitton watch roll and this is quite an interesting quite an interesting product because the um, the Louis, the Louis, Louis Vuitton is very similar in size to the Wolf watch roll. And I also wanted to compare it to a watch roll called the, the watch stand. This was a watch roll that Timmy got me. And uh, I wanted to compare the watch rolls. So, um... Uh, uh, let's begin the comparison. So to give you an idea of price, this here is about 500 US dollars, 384 pounds. This is about a thousand, a thousand US dollars. In Australia, it's about 1600 bucks, Aussie. And then we've got the, the Wolf watch roll, which is, these here are 248 US dollars. What's that about? 320 Aussie. So we've got a nice selection of watch rolls. The most expensive is the Vuitton, followed by the, <clears throat> the watch stand, followed by the Wolf roll. Um, so let's let's begin. So let's let's have a look at the uh, let's start by looking at the the wolf roll and then we'll look at the other the other rolls there so the wolf roll itself um vegan leather vegan leather uh quite a nice size it opens up you've got two clips two buttons two push buttons which depending on how you've got the watches how bulky they are so it, it does give you a slight difference there. Inside the watch roll itself, it says Wolf. And you've got this tube, which has uh, these quite nice uh, part here, which what it does is it acts, it's called a watch guard. These are a watch guard, which stops one watch <clears throat> bumping into another. Now, the, the party trick with the Wolf watch roll is this center section, which pops out, and you can actually store uh, rings, uh, links, anything in here. Quite a clever idea. So, I've got to tell you, what do I think of this watch roll itself? Um... I really do like the wooden sides. Uh, the vegan leather, yeah, 
I kind of, I love real leather. Nothing beats the smell of real leather. It's kind of the difference between having a BMW 320 and a BMW 330. The 330's got real leather instead of anthracite. But all in all, for $240 US, I think it's quite an attractive roll. It'd make a great gift. Nice wooden veneer sides. It's quite a, a nice watch roll. So now, let's take a look at the watch stand. Ah, when you open this here, it just hits you. The quality of this watch roll is outstanding. Comes in a choice of colours. Here we've gone for a Tiffany combo deal. It's got Tiffany blue and the grey outside. Ah, the leather itself there. And here I've got three roll eyes. Three roll eyes inside here. So it's quite a uh, this this system here itself. It's got it's it's got two push buttons there. And these, these sections can be removed. They also can come off completely. So quite a innovative type system there. Um, the watch rolls themselves, the, the watches seem to fit quite nicely. Also, this section itself acts as a guard if the watch is a bit loose to stop it bumping in to other watches in the watch roll. So quite a, a nice system. Uh, this was actually given to me by Timmy from Tim Wright. And I must say, I actually was really impressed with it. I started using this, this watch roll and I thought, hey, I'll go and order another one because it's quite useful. Uh, then I shit myself when I found out it was 384 pounds sterling. Uh, yes, this is actually quite expensive. In Aussie dollars, that's nearly 700 Aussie dollars. Ouch! 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 Yes, it is expensive. It does feel quality, <laughs> and it's quite a nice watch roll itself. Then, the third piece, the final piece we're comparing is the Louis Vuitton watch roll. Now this is the most expensive of the lot, a thousand US dollars, 1600 Aussie. Oh, that makes it be about 1100 US I think now. And I got to tell you, this is kind of the industry standard, the benchmark. You can get this, this is in monogram canvas. You can get it in Damia, uh, graphite. You can get it in Epi, the leathers, this is the canvas version, and I gotta tell you, no dividers, no dividers, and the, the, the negative with, with this is, I actually use this for my wife's watches, it's not really accommodating if it's really, it's one size, if your wrist is not that size, uh, with this Tank Francais here, I'm able to just only push one side in so it can hold its own but on some watches which don't allow that it's kind of awkward to use say an Amiga constellation um what do I think of it well to be completely honest with you it's got no dividers at all there is absolutely no dividers at all and it's I mean, it's a nice watch roll, but it's probably out of the, probably you're paying the most for that Louis Vuitton label. It's a nice watch roll if your wrists are that size. However, if you're a bit plump like me, the watches aren't going to be, they're going to be loose and could be bumping into each other. So it's kind of, that's the... The limitation of this watch roll. Okie dokie. So what do I think is the best watch roll of the lot? Well, I think bang per buck, the Wolf watch roll with the veneer wood on the ends is probably the clear winner. 
if you are a brand snob and you've got a small or medium sized wrist this could be a nice way to go the most expensive way to go but not really the most practical for me i really think out of these three watch rolls this would have to be the best this is cheaper than the louis vuitton it's real leather and it just has an air of quality to it and it's that's the reason that i like to put my roll eyes in this watch roll it's got a nice feeling to it it's nice and comfy i i really do like how it accommodates the watches and it's got that center section to stop them if they are a bit loose <coughs> from bumping into other pieces so it is very secure in its execution so there you go guys that's a review of three watch rolls and i'd have to say this one here is the clear winner 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 chicken dinner thank you tim wright for that gift special runner-up would have to be the wolf the wolf for the money this is still a very nice watch roll very innovative with that center section where you could put spare links or little uh, easy to lose things. Uh, quite a clever idea. So there we have it, guys. Uh, which watch roll did you prefer? Which one did you think was the best? Put some comments below and let me know. I'm Archie Luxury. Let me know what you guys think of that. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a rolex at retail it's futile please guys save your dignity keep some pride go to david sw i would highly recommend david sw david sw if you're in america and you're looking for a watch go to david sw david sw David S.W. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017 worldwide shipping and distribution over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory stock in hand and 90 plus different brands new and pre-owned now the good thing about watchshopping.com trusted by over 4,000 reviews on chrono 24 and trust pilot your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out watchshopping.com. Hey, guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody 
can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.